my name is Teresa Mora, and I'm working here for the site director for the middle uh, school uh, high school of the 21st century. We have called the game, which means creative vision and excellence. And I'm um, excited to have students from the junior high uh, at the fair. And our first name was STEM Fair. And then one of the things they could sue, you know what, we call it STEM. They wanted to know the art, so that was uh, that was all for students, which excited me because a lot of students have artistic um, experience or artistic gifts. So they did that, and what we, we, we're about to see is just um, elementary students coming in, trying these STEM, these STEM activities that are facilitated by our middle school students and some high school students. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, really push it the uh, annual thing. Trevor Summers, I'm principal of Warden Middle School, and I could not be more excited to talk about all the things that 21st Century is doing in our school. Uh, I had a, had a meeting with, with Ernie Zamora, the leader, and his crew, and talked about the vision when, when school started, and I could not be happier with how things have taken off. Uh, they offer our school and our students uh, an experience that a lot of kids don't get in a daily classroom or after school. They really reach those kids where sports isn't really their thing or there's not really a club or anything after school for them and that's where 21st century really really kind of snags them and, and takes off from there um it's it's an enrichment opportunity it's not a study hall it's not a place to go and do homework it's it's a place where kids can go and learn uh, uh stem uh, activities and projects and it's very active and every time i walk in their kids are just engaged and 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 working with with ernie and his staff and uh, the, the numbers are increasing and, and they just put on a STEM fair at our school from 4.30 to 6 where we had just tons of turnout where the kids uh, had all their projects and they were leading uh, all the other students and the parents on how to create cars and uh, they had like marshmallow skyscrapers and just really just outstanding stuff. And while we're not maybe where we want to be, 
Uh, I think we're on a fantastic path, and I could not be more supportive or excited to have Ernie and 21st Century in our school. So our, 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 one of our focuses was to have, when we had the STEM career, we wanted to create a, a culture of, uh, the importance of having the STEM careers available now, with a simple activity. Um, so kids are building towers, and uh, working with dry eyes, working with certain boards, but just as an applicational STEM activity. So the main goal was to expose students to different STEM activities that they can actually see themselves doing later in the future. And I think we accomplished that with these small activities and having students in the same state these activities.